Hey gang, it's Terry with Toxic Natos. Hey, somebody sent me a comment regarding uh, if you use a NATO with spring bars and you put any uh, pressure on the NATO, it will actually pop the spring bars free. So let's see what happens. I cut this NATO myself and heated up the end of it and I did a really poor job so now it doesn't want to go in. So let's see. It's not popping a spring bar like some somebody told me if you go vertically it'll pop them. If you have the correct spring bar it's not going to pop. I don't care who you are. So here I have a Seiko case, it's an older one, off a of 7548, and the reason why it's not being used is because one end the lug holes are wore out. So let's see how it works. So this side is the side that is not wore out, and it is not pulling it free. See that spring bar is nice and tight in there. Let's try the other side. So this side is not trying to let free either. But if you take the spring bar, you can actually hear the movement in the lug hole and see it. It's probably 0.5 millimeters. Uh, play in there. So that's why this case is not suitable or wasn't suitable for me. But uh, just to show that all the people that say NATO's pop spring bars and cause all this crazy force on them and I really don't know what they're talking about. It sounds like they're just following form lore or just repeating what the other guy said. Hey, please subscribe. Leave me comments. Thanks for watching.